trip starts in Durness, where I take the Cape Wrath Ferry, a small service that runs seven days a week, May to September, that allows the visitors to go to the Cape Wrath Lighthouse and see the natural beauty of North West Sutherland. Cape Wrath Lighthouse sits on the most northwesterly point of the UK mainland and was built in 1828 by Robert Stevenson and was actually manned until 1998. So welcome to the Cape Wrath Lighthouse and the Ozone Cafe. I was just in there having a can of coke and there was a group of guys here that have just finished the Cape Wrath Trail and they were just getting a lift back down towards the ferry. The guy that owns the cafe here or runs it has been kind enough to run or shuttle people down to the ferry because the bus isn't running but this is a start for me i'm actually doing it in reverse i'm going to start here i'm finishing fort william or that's the plan yeah i'll bash on see how far i can get uh, yeah just play it by ear as always but what an amazing place really really remote but yeah what an adventure Cape Wrath sprawls over 50,000 acres and is home to the largest bombing range in Western Europe and the UK and other European forces, plus NATO jets and Navy ships fire live shells into the barren landscape as a way of fine-tuning their latest toys and gadgets. So please do ensure that the bombing range isn't active before you decide to cross. Well that's me done about four and a half miles and I am pooped already. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a slog. And I've still another big bit of hill to go over to get to Sandwood Bay. But it's, yeah, it's blowing a hooli. But it's still warm. It's a nice breeze and beautiful views out to sea. And after not too long, you will arrive at the boundary fence for the range. Just be careful on the barbed wire. That's me just crossed out of the firing range and heading to Samwood Bay. The weather so far has been lovely. It seems quite overcast, but it's really, even though with the wind, it's really warm. Uh, yeah, I had to take a few stops and refuel and have some water quite a few times actually. But yeah, not far to Samwood now and then hopefully home for tonight. I just passed our gent. I could see him in the distance heading towards the lighthouse. We kind of pass like ships in the night just opposite each other. Not close enough to talk, but yeah, we just gave each other a wave. Uh, I've just come off the kind of second hill. This is the kind of third hill you go over before you reach Samwood Bay. And I'm really glad there's a few ponds up there, so I managed to fill up the water bottle and have a good drink. She was. Just try to find my pace and yeah. It's a long time since I've done anything like this. So I'm starting to have a few aches and pains. But yeah, as the days go on, the body will hopefully get a bit more used to it. But amazing scenery. Amazing. Great to be out again and do something like this after three months cooped up in the house.
Well, there's a sight for sore eyes. There seems to be quite a few people on the beach. Sam would be. As I started to make my way down to sea level and uh, the wind died down, the midges were making an appearance and it wasn't long before I had to get my midge hood on. Sandwood Bay is well known for its one mile long beach and it is truly stunning. And it's believed that the Vikings used to bring their longboats up across the sands and into Sandwood Loch, and there's also remains of Pictish settlements in the area. But this area has largely been uninhabited since 1847, when the land was cleared during the Highland Clearances. I think I'm going to have some painkillers tonight as well. <laughs> yeah, I could do with some painkillers. Maybe ibuprofen. <sighs> sore, very sore. Something else I brought, which I'll show one night, is uh, one of these. And it's uh, about 160 grams, it's a muscle roller to try and ease aches and pains. Oh god. Yeah. And I might do a bit of this later, just to try and ease off the muscles. It's more my calves. Oh, that's sore. I don't know why I get such sore calves. Oh. Right there. Oh, Jesus. This one's not as bad. Yeah, my left, my, my left one seems to be worse. Give that going over later. A good going over. I 
I just had an Expedition Foods meal and it was a 1000 calorie high energy version and this was a spaghetti bolognese it was really really tasty now I bought a different flavour for each night of the trip and after it all after it's all over I'll probably do a review of all the different flavours and let you know which one was my favourite but this is actually quite good I'm looking forward to trying the chicken tikka and there's also a chicken korma that should be really really good now the company I bought them from online I'll put the link down below they gave me a small discount nothing to set the heather alight but every little helps because this kind of stuff's not cheap yeah maybe try one yourself but yeah I've enjoyed that really filling uh, you could probably I'd probably do two people to be honest so that's it I'm going to have my coffee get my admin together I'm going to take some ibuprofen because my legs are aching and an early night it's been a very long day and what I'm going to do is break up this set of videos into days over the whole trip so this is day one coming to an end uh, yeah subscribe please and hit the bell notification so you see day two of the trip as well and day three day four as I put them together but this is end of day one a cracking walk up from the lighthouse and yeah well it had its moments it had its moments and it's a rough a rough bit of trail but that's that's for the end of part one I hope you've enjoyed it as I said stay tuned for part two and I shall speak to you all again very soon That was really quite bad. Uh, yeah, I would hate to have done that in the rain. But the view that way is uh, lovely.